Hey, what's up everybody? Largo Vlogs here and welcome to Super Reese Galaxy Lesson 2.4. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the trig values for secondary colors. So this is not going to appear on the Instagram exam or anything. This is going to be if you decide to take the X exam, which is a lot later on the story. But anyway, here's Lesson 2.4. The You want to find the trig values of secondary colors. So if you remember your special color circle, this is where red is, this is blue, and this is yellow. Now, purple is right here, because that's the mixed color. Purple's right there. Blue and yellow, there's green. And what about orange? We decided that we would just go ahead and just put orange right here. So anyway, what are these values? So just draw this circle out real quick and just keep in mind where each of the colors are. So for purple, we actually have this. For green, now for orange, that's what we have. Now, I know that these values may, may not be the most cleanest cleanest thing ever, but most of them are just square root of 2 over 2. Some positive, others negative. The only thing you really need to remember is that the x value for purple is negative, and also the y value for orange is also negative. So, of course, the last time we talked about that... Sine is y, cosine is x, tangent is y over x, cosecant is 1 over y, secant is 1 over x, and cotangent is x over y. So I know it's like a lot to keep up with, but let's try a practice problem. What is the sine of orange so the sign of orange so as we already know orange is we talked about that this is our values for orange so ever since we have the y value here it's just negative square root of 2 divided by 2 now I'm going to show you guys three more examples so this one, what about the tangent of green? So if you guys don't remember, green was the one where both of the numbers were negative. Now, we can take y divided by x, and this is what we get. Whenever we divide a negative by a negative, we get a positive. And if you just divide something by itself, we just get 1. Or, you know, if, if you have trouble dividing fractions, basically all you need to know is just you can just do this. 2 squares of 2 divided by 2 squares of 2 would just be 1. Now, let me show you guys two more examples. This one is going to be pretty is going to be pretty surprising. But how about we look at what is the what is the cosecant of purple? So the cosecant of purple. So as you guys already know, the y value is the square root of two over two. We need to do one over y. Whenever we do one over y, that means we can actually flip these numbers. So we have two over the square root of two. 
Now, we don't ever want to leave any radicals in the bottom. So what you're going to want to do is make these radicals cancel out. So now you have 2 square root of 2 divided by 2. These 2 is going to cancel out, and the cosecant of purple is the square root of 2. Now, I have one more example for you guys. Today, so the last one we're going to do is, this one's going to be really, really hard. But you're going to do 2 sine of orange divided by 3 sine of red. Now, what is the sign of orange? Well, you just need to remember what is the y value for orange. The y value for orange is negative square root of 2 over 2. But we need to multiply this by 2. So in this case, you would get negative square root of 2. Now, what was the sign of red? Well, the sign of red was 1. And now we just have to divide that because it's 3. It's 3. So you probably won't see a question like that, but that's how you would handle that. Anyway, this is Largo Vlogs, and I'll see you guys next time.